Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Better Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex. And we're doing another shootout today. Mm. We're doing the Fender Bass Breaker 15 versus the Marshall Origin 20. Yep, so the Fender Bass Breakers, it's kind of not gone, it's gone under the radar a little bit as far as popularity. Um, it's kind of their British style circuit. Um, well, the bass breaker thing generally sort of there, yeah. They're, they're yeah. British style kind of sounding stuff. So it'll be interesting to check out between the two. Yeah, versus the origin. So uh, I do have this camera here. Uh, hello. On the knobs here. <laughs> this one's sort of up the top here. Just a little bit hard to kind of hook up all these cameras. Um, so, I mean, it's about the sound, isn't it? So it doesn't really yeah. really matter where the knobs are. But um, we'll sort of try to explain roughly where the knobs are. We're going to have four guitars. We've got a T-style. We've got a JM-style. We've got a P90 style, and we've got a humbucker guitar. Mm. So, uh, to see how we all go. So, let's start off with the Fender oh, yeah. on just okay, the, uh... go on the cleanest, yeah, on the low structure. Um, should we turn the re reverb off too? Because the other mm. one doesn't have reverb. Sure. People um... whingy whingy then. Mm. I think they're more similar if you go to the medium structure. Sure. The low structure is too clean. Yeah. Uh, also, should mention we're using a radial tone bone head bone VT. Mm. There's lots of bones, but a head bone, which is this back here, uh, <coughs> uh, to switch. Uh, and also, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. All the stuff yeah. is to like. Okay. So this is on the second gain structure setting. Let's put it on the second. It's now on the second gain okay. structure setting. So the medium gain structure. Crunchier than the other one. Yeah. Oh, and also we're on low, so maybe. Oh yeah, go on. Marshall has that Marshall mid-range. Yes. And I know it's, that's very vague and not very descriptive, but that has that thing. Yeah. And this is still a little bit scooped and fendery. Yeah, but less scooped and fendery than usual Fender totally. stuff. Totally, than like a um, deluxe. Fender. And I mean, we do have actually the mids down a bit. Mm. So, um, sure. all right, well, let's try with Jazz Master yeah. or JM style. So I'm on a neck. I've got a wide range on the bridge, but we're staying in the neck for the time being.
Mm. I think this would sit in a mix really well for that mid-range. Mm. Like alone, this is a little bit sweeter and prettier. Mm. I think in a band situation, this will poke through. Okay, well, let's hang on. It's, it's a chordy stuff. That's sort of a bit weightier. Mm. That one's a bit thinner, but it'll probably cut more because it's yeah. thinner but midier. Yeah, not necessarily thinner. It's just, it just doesn't have that big bottom end bloom. Yeah, true. Like, like this is. Yeah, yeah. Should we go uh, one step further with um, P90's number? Because sure. Let's do it. And we're back. So we've got a uh, Larivay with P90s and we've got a Carvin or Kiesel with humbuckers. Sweet. Let's start with the P90s. Mm -hmm. This one and this combo. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Mm. Humbuckers, Wind of Fender. I'm starting to like that one better. Ah. With the humbuckers. Let's go Gainier again. We'll be back. Okay, so we've got the same amps that we had before, but we've got different guitars. So we're now in the high structure on this one. Yep. And we've got the um, gain uh, knob pulled out to give it a boost. So it's a Bit more drive, it's mm. not super high gain, but let's start off with this and a cool st uh, telly. Mm. 
get similar to the gain you have to I had to go down to low wattage yeah. and really crank the master to you know uh, all right let's try the same thing with the jazz master sure I mean, you've got heaps more gain in this thing. This one, this Marshall has a, like an angry poke. Yeah, yeah, angry, angry drive. Yeah. Whereas this is sort of a, a much friendlier distortion, but lots more of it. Let's do humbuckers and P90s. Yeah. All right, so we're now uh, P90s, humbuckers again into the high structure. And with this pretty much cranked, so uh, start off with P90s. Sure. <laughs> quickly went into the medium structure there for a second as well because I yeah. think it's a bit almost too high gain compared to that. This combo is working for me. Yeah, it does sound really good. Okay. Mm. Humbuckers. Tasty.
up, Doug? Uh, sure, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say much. What do you think with the humbuckers? Uh, oh, here we go. They're two very different things. Yeah, I still think sometimes you just get magic combinations. Like dogs. Um, the P90s and the Marshall just have this kind of angry poke. Like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, people with the dogs. Yeah, it kind of has this rock and roll simplicity to it, and yeah, totally cool. Um, I like this with your jazz mast. Okay, with arm buckets. Either way, they're just both different. They're quite different, yeah. Yeah. That one's a bit more sort of an aggressive sounding thing. That's yeah. to me because I mean you've got to think also we pretty much have it completely cranked. I mean a master. Yeah. Both master and gain are an eight. So with the boost pulled out, so it's quite. A uh, few people have commented on some of the other videos that it goes quite muddy, but I think it's with the humbuckers. But I think it's just because we drive it so hard to get the gain out of it. Yeah, especially the um, master. I mean, you could run a pedal into it yeah. to boost it, but I mean, okay. we, it's just about the end really at the moment. So you can hop. Um, so I got to say, probably again, surprisingly clean. On the, with the cleaner sounds, I prefer to Marshall. Yeah. With the dirtier sounds, I tend to prefer the Fender, and that's actually what I do at home as well. So, I because I've got an Origin Fifty at home, I do tend to prefer the Origin for the clean sounds, mm. and I tend to prefer this for the dirty sounds. Yeah, I don't think it's right or wrong. It's whatever you it's whatever you like. Yeah, I mean, we, so, we just had a few people ask, you know, yeah. do a comparison between those two, and, and um, especially with types of guitars, types of pickups. What you're gonna like combinations over the other. Like mm. some, some overdrive pedals just work great with single coils because they're fat. Yeah. But with humbuckers, you kind of blow it out. Yeah. yeah. Too much. Um, yeah. So in the end, yeah, just let, let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, yeah. So that's a base breaker 15 versus the Origin 20. Uh, more shootouts coming. Let us know what your thoughts are. Yeah. Comments below. Be nice though. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And what else should they do while they, be, they are surfing the net, Alex? Surfing the net. Hey, uh, we've got links below to uh, Facebook, Instagram, and our podcast. We talk about all things amp guitar related. Sometimes Daisy hangs out. Mm. Dogs dog, around a lot. Dog, dogish. Dogly? Dog, 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 dogishly, yes. <laughs> dogishly. Yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.